Good morning to Walton High School. Today is January 4th and this is your Weekly Wolf. Happy New Year Wolves. Hope everyone had a great two week break and here are your announcements for the week. Are you tired of bullying and hate speech? Well, here's your chance. We are looking for student leaders who want to continue the work of anti-bullying and building Tualatin into a no place for hate school. If you're interested, please contact Justin Waltrip, jwaltrip at ttsd.k12.or.us, extension 5681, or Jose Alvarez, jalvarezroberte at ttsd.k12.or.us, extension 5598. Congratulations to Marco Clara and Ariana Reyes Pascual for winning the TTSD Fortnite tournament and representing Tualatin High School. Thank you to all that participated and all that watched. Are you interested in joining Tualatin's GSA? The Gender and Sexuality Alliance is an affinity group that is open to all identities. You can find the meeting link in the weekly email announcements. For more information, please contact Ms. Fontaine at jfontaine at ttsd.k12.or.us. Do you have any questions about anything college and career related? Check out the new College and Career Center in the Tualatin High School website, linked below. Now, let's go to Molly with Meet My Pet. Hey guys, it's Molly, and I'm back with the Meet My Pets this week. This week, we have Maddie Tracy, and she'll be sharing all of her different pets with us. Hi guys, my name is Maddie, and for this week's Meet My Pets segment, I'm going to be showing you guys some of my pets that I've had, so let's go. These were my first ever reptiles, and they were two crested geckos. Their names were Simba and Phoenix. This is my first ever ball python and his name was Pisces. He was super cool and he is a normal morph ball python. This was another ball python I had but unfortunately she passed away. This was my red tail boa, Rocket. He was one of the coolest animals I've ever met, and he helped a lot of people get over their fear of snakes. He loved hanging outside and with people. This is my dog, Harley. He is a cockapoo, and he's very social and loves being around many people. This little one is Harley, and this big one is Shooter. And Shooter is a golden doodle. He's very attached to my brother Sam, and so is Harley, and Harley is a cockapoo. So how <laughs> Thank you to Maddie for participating. Remember, if you would like to be in the Meet My Pet segment, don't forget to click the link in the description box below. And now on to Emily with a public service announcement. Hi everyone, it's Emily Fung Chan. Today I have a couple of reminders for you all about uh, health and wellness. So going into this year with New Year's resolutions about health and wellness. First of all, uh, regardless of how your body is and the state of um, your body, you're always gonna need food. Your body needs food to survive it is a source of energy and you can't take it away from yourself because you need it. So it's not something that you earn. It's not something that, you know, you, it's, it's not really a privilege. It's actually something that you need. It's a necessity and an essential. And please don't take it away from your body because it needs energy to function. Second of all, uh, cut all the talk about your body or others' body. So to comment on someone's body is not only extremely rude, it is also, um, it also can be very triggering for some people. You don't know where everybody, what everybody thinks and what everyone is going through and so Sometimes when you t say things about yourself, like, oh, I need to exercise more, or I'm gonna go on this diet or this detox, you don't realize that the other person, someone who overheard you who, or who you're directly talking to, uh, could be impacted by your statement because now they feel as if they also need to go on a diet or a detox and, um, yeah, I I think keep it to yourself. Um, 
and if you f really feel that like you need help with your nutrition or the state of your body we have a school-based health center which is still open even though schools are not and so I will leave the hours in the description box for that um, and along with that yeah we also do have resources for food if you are in need of food if your family can't afford food so the school district runs delivery buses for meals for breakfast and lunch every single day and they run this route twice so um, you can't, really can't miss it and you can also come to the high school or yeah the high school to pick it up um, there are designated times. I will leave those down below and I'll put them over here as well. Um, if your family doesn't have the food for dinner because you know you can't have lunch, um, you can also access a local uh, organization that partners with our school. It's called Packed with Pride. It's started by DTSD board members and the teachers union president um, and a couple of students and so packed with pride super great they run out of Tigard high school you can come and pick up a box almost every Saturday they also have translation services and you can also get other things like um, the uh, like cleaning supplies and period products also available um, at, with pra packed with pride those are some resources that are available to you and of course if you need extra resources you can go on to our district website if you need mental health support you can talk to your counselor you can book appointments online now and school-based health center is still available um, please go into this um, not only is it a new year, it's also going to be final season. And so do take care of yourself mentally, physically, and if you feel alone in a need of socialization, you can always come to ASE events. So, um, happy new years again, and I hope that this year is going to be better than 2020. Bye. Thank you, everyone. I know I talked for a really long time. Bye. <laughs> Hi, everybody, and welcome to this week's Weekly Five. For our first story, we had a server in Florida that was tipped $2,020. A group of friends decided to make the server's year with a giant tip that would make her year. Now to our next story. 20,000 pounds of cheese balls recently spilled onto a Maryland highway. No injuries were reported, but I'm sure many people were happy to get a snack on their way to work. For the next story, we have a horse escaped from the sleigh and caught running on the highway. The horse was not hurt, but the sheriff said the horse must have been looking for the Santa sleigh team. For this story, we go to Chile, where dogs have recently been hired to sniff out COVID-19 in an airport. In recent studies, dogs have been found to sniff out infected travelers with 85-100% to accuracy, and of course, they always get a treat to reward them for their hard work. Now, let's go to today's national holiday, Trivia Day. Any good trivia questions, David? I think so. Let's see. What state in America has the largest area? Is it Alaska? That's correct. Great job, Aaron, and thank you everyone for tuning in to this week's Weekly Five. Now on to our next segment. Over the break, we asked our Timberwolves what they're hopeful for in 2021. Let's see what they had to say. Hi, my name is Naya. What's up, T-Wolves? My name is Lucy Tapasa. Hello, my name is Jonathan. For 2021, I'm most excited that we have the vaccine and that we get to go back to school in February and see people I haven't seen in a while. And I'm also really excited for basketball season. Um, over this winter break, I haven't really done much, mostly just like stayed at home, but one thing that I did do that was super fun is yesterday I tried skiing for the first time, and I can report that I'm not good at all, but it was so nice to see snow. Hopefully we'll have some more here in Tualatin, and for this coming year, one New Year's resolution, I guess, is I would love to travel more and possibly even get a COVID vaccine. Um, 
I'm just excited to be able to say goodbye to 2020 and move forward towards a brighter future. For the holidays, I really didn't do much. I just went to here with my family and we baked cookies and I opened presents with them, but not really. I'm currently a junior. Um, something I'm hopeful for for 2021 is getting to go back to school, whether it be this year or next year. Um, and hopefully having a season with my high school and club lacrosse team. I miss all my teammates and my friends and my coaches and can't wait to get back on the field. Thanks to Aaron, David, Emily, and Molly for rocking their roles as always. Well, that's a wrap for week 13 of the Weekly Wolf. I'm glad you guys stuck around to catch announcements, games, the Weekly Five, and meet my pet. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube and follow our Instagram at TUHS Weekly Wolf. Other than that, we're set for the week. I hope everyone is doing well, and don't forget to be kind to one another. And roll wolves. Dylan Wynn, out.